Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode 7 of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the previous episode, we started off with the quest of Frying Pan Spick and Span. We were basically helping out an old lady uh, try to break into a hut, or I don't know if it was her hut or something like that, but it was locked tight and a soldier was in there. Apparently, he had stolen her frying pan or had borrowed it and not given it back more accurately. I think it was just about in this little cabin up here. Uh, we went in to retrieve the pan, which was covered in soot initially, but it uh, turned out the soldier was using the soot to make coded messages, uh, which we managed to decipher a little bit about, uh, implying that he was a Temerian spy within the Nilfgaardian army. But we did manage to get the pan back to the woman, so we managed to take care of that. And we then came, I think it was just about over here, maybe, and there was a merchant who was travelling along the road who asked us to go collect his... Uh, stuff that on in the swamp, which was on a horse that apparently got startled and devoured by monsters. And again, we found out that there was a much darker motive there with the actually being a cat owned by a uh, North Guardian uh, merchant who was delivering medicine to the garrison, and they'd actually been attacked by inc the Temerians, including the merchant. And yeah, we decided eventually to let him have his stuff because I think we have more sympathy towards the Temerians than the Nail Guardians who have invaded. Uh, we cleared out another couple of bits and bobs heading up to the garrison where we've just about entered uh, and they're allowing us to enter on the condition we speak to the commander which we're about to do in a second. All I've done is have uh, meditated for it to be uh, the middle of the day but I guess we can have a look at um, what there is to see. I don't know if it still counts as ceiling if no one sees me Probably a bad idea to be doing this in the first place. It's just a lot of crap, really, isn't it? I cannot jump. Oh. You saw nothing. Why is it not like me? What are you trying to hide from me, game? What's in here? What's in the box? No. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to bother with all this. Yeah, this is where the camp is. Or the hospital section, I suppose. Don't know if there's anyone worth talking to. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Uh, doesn't seem to be anyone in particular worth speaking to. I definitely want to see the yes. armor. Oh, well, not the armor, the uh, blacksmith. To get ourselves some new weapons. Hmm. Okay, I think. See where all there is to see. Uh, uh, craftsman. Craftsman can craft a variety of items for you for a small fee of cost. Blacksmiths forge weapons, armors make armor. If you found a crafting diagram, take it to a craftsman of the right type and skill level to have them craft the item for you. Hey, there we go, finally. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk here, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. Uh, you're clearly skilled at banter and haggling. You got a knack for that as well. Uh, okay, I need you to craft. I'd like you to craft something for me. Okay, so first of all, we need uh, a second uh, silver ingot. Uh, so there are two different recipes for this. Obviously, in my case, I've got the ores I need to make one. So let's get one crafted. If we close that, we should be able to afford the silver sword. Very nice. And the steel sword, fiber steel sword, at long last. Thank God for that. Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither, just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, 
Did you wish to buy something? No, but I do want to sell some crap. But first of all, let me just swap out my swords. Um, so I can sell them off as well. So, yeah, plus 23. Plus 35. Fantastic. That's definitely going to help. Are you here to spot? Um, Show me what you're peddling. It's a peddling. All right, we can uh, dump all this crap. We checked all this at the end of the last episode and nothing was... Well, we swapped out anything that was better for us. Okay. So long. So long. There. We go. Um. <laughs> still here. Are you just swapping in the air, dude? You don't even have a target or anything? Crazy mustard. Okay. Let's go and speak to the... Captain. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier. And... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elder man and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be here. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, can sit on my hands or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. I only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Hmm. Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. <sighs> no. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Okay, I think Tamira is that herb, the um, the woman I was talking about, 
last episode. Uh, we want to uh, start up the other missable quests in this chapter. So there we go, we're on to the Beast of White Arch. Like I said, it's, I think this Lilac and Gooseberries is going to be one that lasts us the majority, if not all of this little sort of... It's not. I don't know, could you consider this to be like a prologue? I guess so. There's not really chapters or acts like there were in previous games. It's more of just move from one major area to the next. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, let us see... So I definitely want to head to speak to Tyra. Is it Tom Tyra? Is that what her name was or something? Um, so I'll head here first. And that way we can definitely make sure um, to pick that up. And that's the last side quest, I believed, that we could do. I think there are another two scavenger hunts, which we'll start from visiting those other undiscovered areas, which we may do today or possibly next episode. Um, but those aren't missable. Those um, always stay. I think we've done all, the, other than this one coming up, we've done all the missable ones. So it's the, the I think the frying pan one was missable. Um, the, um, what's it called? That we did yesterday. Not yesterday. Well, it was yesterday for me, but, um, uh, crap. Um, something of value, wasn't it? The precious cargo, that's the one. Uh, so, Twisted Fire starts a precious cargo on a frying pan to pick and span. I believe these three are the missable ones, and you can do these three at any time. Oh, and miss, missing an action might be as well. Not too sure. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> Focusing on all that crap. Um, right. Ooh, the countdown roach. Let us go and speak to the herbalist. Time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night, she was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my Bruce can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes, a peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her a swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking. A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. The whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar, something, something. Ah, good to know the black ones are looking out for our welfare. Nilfgaard values one thing order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First they'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay, uh... I think basically the only part of Undeath Bed you gotta do is actually give her the potion. Um, which I don't know what effect it's gonna have, I just know that that's the objective. Do we have a swallow potion? I'm not too sure. I know we've got the um, diagram for it. 
Um, no, a tiny owl. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Um, now what do I need for swallow? Celandine. Okay. Yes. Do we have anything? No. Oh. Maybe she has Celandine. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. I think she does. Celandine, great. So I only need four. Twenty. That's not a bad deal. Okay. Uh. Hey. Swallow potion. Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Gosla. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Nenake refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Hmm. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here. Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed, but you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Um. Oh, she's up and walking around. She's can't, she can't make that much pain. Oh, so Peter. Oh, just just had a conversation yes. with her. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Thank you. We're just getting loaded with uh, items today, aren't we? Hey. Okay. Yes. Do you have anything new to do? Nope. Fair That's well. a lot. Alright. Bye, Tamara. Or Tamira, however you pronounce your name. Okay, that is another quest done, and that is the last missable quest in uh, the first chapter, which is very good. Um, just have a look. What did she actually give me there? Uh, wait, we just got. Oh, did she? She didn't give us a swallow potion, did we? It must have crafted multiple at once. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, I don't know what's with this monocle, because we got this as part of the. Um, the, was it the Spick and Span quest? Frying pan? Uh, Sweat and Blood, that's a new book. A veil hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks from the dead blocks the dead from the view of the living and the living from the view of the dead some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead but or else summon them to the world of the sun for a short period of time this is, is the art known as necromancy 
The dead can also break through the veil and enter the world of the living on their own. Yet unlike the necromancers, in doing so they are not driven by reason and will, but by a thoughtless, irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions such as regret, longing, or wrath. Very often these emotions gain their power by being invested in a material object by the dead individual while he or she still knew life. The objects most frequently so endowed, wedding rings, favourite toys, are the instrument used for the crime they, which sent the returned individual to the other world in the first place. Bloody hell. That's, uh, that's kind of deep. Okay, cool. Alright, so look at the map. See where we're going. Uh, so that is... So that's for the... Catching the bait. And I feel like once we collect that, we're going to need... Um, to move immediately on. I'm not completely sure I'm ready to do that just yet. We'll speak to this hunter first anyway. See what he can tell us. Deduction. Yeah, we're getting a hell of a lot of stuff. That's a good visit. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look, Doc. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Hmm. Trucks or clues. Trails fresh. His love just left home. Okay. Ah. Let's see. I don't get the feeling we're gonna bump right into him, like in the midst of battle, or maybe just Oh no no never mind he's just there. You Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves. Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. No why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. <clears throat> Show you sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. <laughs> he gives us an opportunity to test out our uh, new sword. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, gut stuck to their spot too late. Attacked another one. What? Um. Oh. Sorry, doggos. It's the way it's gotta be. That was easy. Ugh, I just gives me memories back to when I had to collect uh, dog tello for that weird guy in um, the temple quarter of Azima back in The Witcher 1. Oh dear. Oh my word. Dieter. Nasty way you're going. We served at the Lord's Manor together. Where the black armies encamp now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before. Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak, too. Aye, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... 
We loved each other. Oh. Dito walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Ah, oh, shit, isn't Griffin. it? Know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Just keep Roach close by, just in case we need to make a hasty escape. Okay, I hope this doesn't throw me into... I mean, I highly doubt it. I don't want to a whole thing about finding bait and then let's not actually use it. But I guess it allows us to find the zone where we need to plant the bait, I suppose. Could be a thing. Yeah, boy. Great ends. Ah, here we go. Oh, buddy, hell. It was here. One lay there by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. <laughs> Nothing to mourn. They were Nilf guardians. They were lads like ours, just clad in black plate. Good hunting now. And to you, and to you. Good idea, good eye. Good eye, good eye. I say good eye. Griffin interrupted them. Hmm. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Um, okay, what else is there? Oh. These prints are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. That's fast travel, I'm not doing that. Ah, okay. There's a couple of bits down here. Take that. So the bridge got destroyed. Furdus. Press the right button. Just keep Roach close by. Uh, where's, where's it going? Confused. Hmm. Ah, okay. Oh, oh, bees. Not the bees, not the bees. Griffin's nest. What remains of it, at least. Oh boy. Is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Jesus Christ. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Oh my, what the hell's that? Is that another griffin? Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Another griffin must be a male. Hmm. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Oh, Christ. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. Royal Griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. 
Ooh, leveled up. Hey. Never underestimate your opponent. This rule is at the core of the Witch's Code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many Witch's life. It is likewise. With your wild to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit crossmen before engaging in battle. Uh, if you expect to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete some side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain experience and develop your character, giving you a better chance at winning the fight. But we've done about all the side quests we can do. We need book there. Oh my, okay. Burned. Only a human could do this. So it's probably because some snotty humans got his messed up in this these uh, Griffin's business that he's attacking in the first place. Um, okay, we've just reached thirty minutes, so I think we'll uh, wrap up there. Uh, we've got a new book there, so let's just have a look at that. Um, where is it? Oh, it's Imperial Majesty. Emerin van Emeris. Emerin van Emeris rules to expand. He has trained his strategic brilliance on a singular vision to conquer the world. Though he rightly calls this not conquest but salvation. Yes, the Emperor, the Emperor, the Emperor of Nilgard sets the world alight with the torch of civilization. Trampling the still warm corpses of his father's usurpers, the Emperor seized the throne and began to assimilate the northern realms. One after the other, terror engulfed the north. Only the Battle of Brenna slowed the Imperial Army's march towards victory. A temporary peace then took held, though none believed this mirage would hold. Emery's vain aim to make the entire north a vassal of Nilfgaard remained unchanged. Emre used peace as a cover to intensify his political efforts. Now all can see the results. Chaos and disorder devour the Nordling states. Ridden with internal bickering and backstabbing, they near collapse. Only a strong ruler can grapple this dysfunction into function. Only a wise ruler can give vision to their blindness. Only Emre van Emrys can save the north, so our armies have again crossed the Yoruga for the third and final time. Uh, sounds like Nilfgaardian propaganda to me, but okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that covers all of that. Let's have a look at our glossary. We've definitely picked up some stuff today. So we've got, we did bears. So we've got dogs. Inspectors. We've got night wraiths. And plague maidens. Okay, tutorials. Uh, hood. To objective. Uh, that's it. Characters, still nothing new there. Books, uh, we do a couple of bits. But, nothing I've already read. Uh, no new blueprints or anything. Alchemy, new. Just close all these away. Inventory already gone through. World map. Well, let's have a quick look at the world map. Um, so, broken. Yeah, okay. So, that's another area discovered. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so we've still got a fair few places to get. I might actually just clear the rest of these out, just because they're all quite close together, and then head off to get the uh, the bait that we need, just so we don't... Well, we're not going to miss out on it. Like I said, we've, we've covered all the missable things now. Um, but just so that we can take, sort of tick off White Orchard for now. I think we won't do end up returning at a later point in the game, but at least like sort of for now, we've done everything that we can, and then... It'll just be the main mission because involving in these will be the other, I think, two scavenger hunts we still have left over. So we could get that puzzle, it just helps us out, doesn't it? Uh, so we've got the Beast of White Orchard. So it's puzzle really fun to lead, uh, lead, read Dandelion's summaries, which are always really fun. Like, I always go back and um, reread them because, you know, he's, he's definitely an interesting fellow, isn't he? Uh, let's see. Hmm. General. We can't even unlock a new spot anyway. Uh, I guess we can just... Level one of these then. Fast attack damage increased by 5% to drill in point game 1%. Strong attack damage. I think fast is what I go for more, so I'll probably go for that. Okay. And then when I unlock a new one of these, so the next level, I'll probably... I'll probably uh, start working on some uh, magic as well. Okay, um, let's save the game there. Make a fresh new save. Very good. 
So that is what we're going to do for today. Like I said, I've just gone through what um, the plan is for next time. We'll try and work through those other undiscovered locations and pick up the scavenger hunts that are still to be opened. And then we'll finish up by picking up the buckthorn that we need to lure in the griffin. And I think from then it'll just be basically smooth sailing right through till the end of this little mini chapter. So before I wrap up, I would like to thank my amazing patrons. My five pound plus patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three pound plus patrons in the description down below. And also Creature Secrets are my one pound plus patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join those patrons, you can find the link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys next time. Everything changes. Bye, guys.